Hello crafty friends, welcome back to my channel, Scrap and Craft Queen. And I wanted to come by to do the tutorial for the um, pom pom bow that um, I had a, a few people ask for a tutorial on this beautiful bow. And so I am here to uh, show my subbies how to get this done, okay? So basically all you need is a piece of faux leather or hard um, hard backing glitter paper, like chunky glitter paper. And this is about four and a half inches wide. I mean, I'm sorry, long. And the wideness is one inch and a half. One inch and a half wide, and the length is four and a half, okay? So then you're gonna need that. You can use gold thread, any kind that you would like to use. You need a piece of tool, a charm, and the pom-poms. Here we go, okay. So this is what we need. So basically guys, what you're gonna, this is a simple tutorial, and this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna cut about, I'll say about seven inches of tool, okay? And I just cut it by, you know, I don't measure. I just cut it by eye and uh, use that, okay? So you're gonna cut your tool. You're going to put it flat, okay? Very simple. You're going to take whatever color pom-poms your heart desires to use. I like to use, um, these are pom-poms from Michaels. And I had the tag here, where did it go? I had the tag here to show you. Um, well, I don't know where I put it. <laughs> but anyways, they're from Michaels. I like Michaels um, because they are a lot fluffier. They're, they're really fluffy. And so, yeah. And so I like to use the Michael ones. See how, how fluffy they are? They're kind of, they're not thin ones, like the pink and the yellow. They're kind of small ones. I bought them a little smaller. Um, you know, you got to have different sizes. So I put eight pom-poms in each side of the bowl, okay? So we have two, four, six, seven. So we are missing one, my purple, okay? So that takes care of that side. Then we're going to do the other side. So we got purple, two pink, a white, two yellow, and a two blue. Okay. That gives a, you know, different sizes is good to have because um, it looks different, you know. It doesn't matter where you put your pom-poms, okay, guys? So I wouldn't worry too much about that right now, but I would want them a little more centered i had that one too much to the side all you're gonna do with this is this you're gonna fold your tool over the pom-poms and then you're gonna fold your tool over again but making sure that you don't go all the way to the edge okay because you don't want it to show when you have it all folded up okay so there you go and um, all you're going to do is you're going to take your tool, fold it over. Now, keep in mind, guys, if it's a little too long in the center, I would just trim it a little bit, okay? And then I would bring down, hold that middle, and I would bring down my pom-poms just a little bit more. You don't want the bow too, too big, okay? Just make sure this gets back folded, and then... Bring it back over and then hold it in the middle and fold it, I mean uh, trim it again. So you can actually do your tool um, six inches if you like. I always like to do more because I'm just like that. <laughs> I like to make sure I got enough. I like to make sure it's even before I do anything else with it. Okay. So you have two, four, 
six eight pom-poms on each side don't worry if they spread like mine mine spread don't worry about that oh I forgot to mention you need um, a needle because we're gonna sew the middle of this and um, you need a needle and you need your hot glue so that you can glue your charm on um, I like hot glue because it glues faster okay I don't like the white glue it takes a little longer and it's not really uh, set okay so we're going to make the tool bowl first all you gotta do is just give it a little a little stitch on each side you know just want to make sure all your edges are caught, caught on okay see I just like to make sure that I get all my edges in so that when I am done sewing I don't have to worry about my bow falling apart okay give it a few turns of thread I like to do that and then I go through make a little knot and there we go and you're done and there's your bow and if you want to trim this one you can trim it up okay so there is my bow now I'm going to push it all the way around make sure they're in there separate them okay now make sure when you're doing this that you don't lose your the form of the bow okay but I always like to make sure that my colors are not together I like to separate them really good so that it gives the bow more color you don't have it all okay so there you go there's your bow now you're gonna take your your faux leather or your glitter and you're going to take it fold it in half and you're going to nip that little corner and you're going to bring it and if you want to make sure that you know it's correct and they're matching the size then you can always do this take that little piece you cut off and measure okay that way you know that everything is the same size okay so there you go now the next thing I do is you can do a bow template to cut the center or you can just do it by your your eyes so I just go up make sure my sides are trimmed I just start from the center okay and I go around and I go all the way to the center a little bit not all the way because you want to leave room for your bow and then I just come around cut up and there we go now keep in mind this doesn't have to be perfect guys because that's going to be covered okay so if you can't get it perfectly don't worry about it as long as you have it thin in the center where you can um, you know roll your your little piece up okay and there we go let me uh, trim this one a little bit because I left it kind of bumpy there not liking that okay so there's your bow all you do once you trim it and cut it you're just gonna glue here in the center you're going to put your bow in the center with the hot glue glue it down puff up your bow okay and just hold it there and it'll glue fast okay so for my other ones I use the gold thread for the center but I'm not gonna do it with this one you can if you want and I'll show you how I did that um, let me just roll it up a little bit so basically what you're doing is you're rolling it with three fingers spread your finger a little bit I would go around six times and then cut it and then just pinch it in the middle and turn it and it gets like this and then all you do is hold it in the center glue it there okay that's all you do all right guys so <clears throat> I'm not gonna use that because I have another idea for mine so basically here's my charm I want to do a unicorn one since I have all these beauty colors here and I'm going to put my unicorn right in the center 
okay and then I found these little stars that came with that particular unicorn and I'm going to put it here on the side I'm not gonna press down because again I don't want my pom-pom to get glued okay so basically <clears throat> excuse me putting it on there lightly oh losing my voice what is that about <laughs> <coughs> excuse me and anyways that is your bow super simple super easy and um, you can make like tons like I have in the process I'm making some that have the um, the, uh, the tassels hanging and I'm making some that have these these little these little balls let me show you real quick I have them right here. I mean, you can do so many things, guys. It's unbelievable. See these little dangles? I'm going to be making some with that right here. You can use those. You can use so many things. You can use mermaid tails. Like for this one that I did, I could have used a mermaid tail for the center, too. I mean, these are too big, but just to give an example, if you have little ones, you can put mermaid tail there. You can hang a mermaid tail if they're, this is way too big, but if you have a little one that you can hang, you can hang it there. You can also do, um, like I have so many little things, you know. You can even do um, like a fun one like this. You can even do a lollipop, take this off and put a little lollipop in there. That will look super cute. I mean, guys, there is so many things that you can do. Look at that. You can do so many cute um, bows. It's ridiculous. Um, you can even do like, you know, like a high heel one. Oh God, there's so, so many cute things, you know, that you can do. But that's just to give you an idea. And um, if you have any questions, like I said, feel free to let me know in the comments. I will answer all your questions. But yeah, I thought that came out super cute. I really love this faux leather from AliExpress. And um, I have linked this faux leather in a lot of my videos. So if you're interested and... This one here that I did in pink, this faux leather is from Hobby Lobby. It's a new one they have, and they also have it in white. I bought it in white too. And then this one here is from Amazon. Um, I got it on Amazon with a whole bunch of other colors. I have a video on that, on that haul. This one is from Hobby Lobby. And um, let's see. And this one is from Amazon. I got it with this one and a whole bunch of other ones. So this is the the chunky paper that I had gotten on clearance. Big old package from Hobby Lobby. They still have some of this paper. So that's another idea if you don't have faux leather. Um, there's just so many great ideas. This is the faux leather from Hobby Lobby also. And yeah, there's just great ideas. Like I said, this uh, sequence one that I made, this one is the same exact way. You make it the same exact way that we just did this unicorn one. The only thing is you put the sequence instead of the pom-poms. But like I said, if you want to do like me, I did like a little shaker one. So I didn't fill this up a lot because I like it better like that where I can just, you know, shake it. But if you want to do one and fill it up, make it fluffier, you can do that too. There's one in a million ways to make these bows. And so, yeah. And so once I do the ones, I finish all the ones that I'm working on with the tassels and the, the little stuff hanging, I will share those with you so that you can get some ideas. But yeah, these are all the ones that I have on my desk right now. The other ones, they're... I'm working on them so I haven't showed those but yeah so go ahead try this tutorial and again if you have any questions feel free to let me know in the comments and I will answer all your questions 
and um, any tutorials that you would like me to do you let me know I will do them for you so thank you I hope you like my tutorial and I appreciate you all bye bye